Press has been doing a bunch of different things to kind of help day laborers um, become more mobile and more functional with their bicycles. Everybody kind of can come in and, and use the tools that are there and, and there are people who, you know, like myself, who will help you fix your bike and it's kind of the idea that you're cooking up bikes, you know, and so everyone's kind of in the kitchen and it's a very communal kind of space and you read about LA as being this, this placeless place, this place without place, and then you find yourself on a bike and all of a sudden it's all been reinvented, you know, it's all flipped upside down, that you're, you know, you're just people on bikes and, and, you're, and you're connecting, you know, face to face. Entonces ellos son buenos, este, eh, nos enseñan bien, o sea, bueno, nos van ayudando a aprender cosas que no sabemos. This is a ride we've organized to speak directly to uh, Chief Beck, who's the chief of police here in, in LA. And one of the council members of the East Hollywood Neighborhood Council, Ed Magos, um, was was hit in a hit and run um, incident downtown. And um, this case wasn't picked up by the city attorney or the district attorney. Um, and basically, most bicyclists hit and runs don't get picked up unless the bicyclist dies. So it was definitely a, a, a big, a big day, and we had a great turnout. We had a, to hear everything that they said in there um, was really kind of astonishing. I'm gonna go back to the office for a little while. I have to, I just shoot some emails about the bike kitchen, and then I gotta get up tomorrow at 10 a.m. and be at LA Trade Tech for another event that I'm planning. Yeah, I never, it never really ends, but that, that's a lesson I learned early on, and you just gotta. You just gotta love it, you know, you just gotta eat it up, man. You gotta have a little spirit animal inside that just roars, you know, and you gotta keep going, so.